and welcome to today's Daily Dose of Hope. Today I want to read to you from the book of Philemon. If you don't know, Philemon is a one chapter book written by Paul to Philemon. I'm only going to read to you a few verses. However, since it is only one chapter, I encourage you to read the whole thing because there's only 25 verses. It's pretty short. But I'm going to read verses 4 through 7. I thank my God always when I remember you in my prayers, because I hear of your love and of the faith that you have toward the Lord Jesus and for all the saints. And I pray that the sharing of your faith may become effective for the full knowledge of every good thing that is in us for the sake of Christ. For I have derived much joy and comfort from your love, my brother, because the hearts of the saints have been refreshed through you. I want to point out especially verse 6. And I pray that the sharing of your faith may become effective for the full knowledge of every good thing that is in us for the sake of Christ. So ever since being here at Living Word as the Director of Family Life Ministry, I have had the opportunity to teach a lot of people, and especially a lot of kids. And when I teach, I find that I also grow in my knowledge while I'm preparing a lesson and during the teaching from what other people get out of the lesson. I think you'll find that when you're helping your kids with your, their math homework or maybe their social studies homework. When you're helping them, when you're teaching them, you also gain understanding while you're teaching. So today, I want to encourage you to teach someone about Jesus. Here, Paul is telling Philemon, you are growing in your knowledge of Jesus because you share Jesus with others. So today, I want you to do the same thing Philemon does, and really the same thing Paul does. I want you to pick one person in your life. It can be your child. It could be your spouse. You could text a friend. And I want you to share something you know about Jesus with that person. I want you to teach someone about Jesus. It can be from the Old Testament if you want, or the New Testament, and it can be a long story if you'd like, or it could be just a couple sentences, just a short thing that you think is fun. But I want to pray with you today that you find the courage to teach someone about Jesus so that you grow in your understanding of Christ and ultimately You grow in your relationship with him. Please pray with me. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for um, giving us the scriptures to learn from. Thank you for all the knowledge you've poured into our minds about you. And thank you so, so much for the relationship that we have with you. Help us to share that knowledge and our relationship with you with someone today. Just give us the courage to... um, Pick someone out in our lives who needs to hear about you and learn about you so that they may also have a growing relationship with you. In your name we pray. Amen. Once you pick someone, I wouldn't mind if you would share who you picked with me and how it went because I'm sure it'll go great. See you next time.